Meanwhile, in August 2024, South Africa's mining output increased by 0.3% year-on-year, recovering from a revised 1% decline in July. Now, this marks the first rise in industrial activity after two months of downturns driven primarily by magnesia ore, chromium ore and PGMs. On a seasonally adjusted basis, mining production grew by 2.9% in August, bouncing back from a revised 0.8% drop in the previous month. However, over the three months leading up to August, seasonally adjusted production fell by 1.4% compared to the prior quarter. Economist J.A. van der Linde provides insights into the August output figures. August industry output data uh, was a bit of a mixed bag, in, to be honest. Um, mining production surprised to the upside and increased on a month-to-month -month basis, while manufacturing output was down um, on the month. And if you look at the latest results for manufacturing and mining, uh, it's basically the inverse of what we saw in July. Uh, if we zoom in on mining for a moment, even though you know production increased uh, most recently, um, output in general has been on a downward trend for you know the past few years now, and it'll likely take another strong month-on-month -month gain um, for the uh, mining sector to make a positive contribution to third-quarter GDP. Um, even though you know confidence has improved and uh, electricity situation has stabilized, it'll likely take a while um, before we see the benefits of those factors filter through uh, to the sector. Um, volatile commodity prices um, are a major consideration for the sector, and so you know unfavorable commodity prices obviously um, affect miners uh, negatively. Um, if we turn to factories. Um, Manufacturing output, as I said, de decreased um, in August on a month on month basis. But if we look at the forward looking um, manufacturing PMI, it showed that the uh, sector likely improved in, se in September, with the index having risen above the neutral 50 level that separates uh, expansion from contraction. Um, it's also likely that the uh, sector would will make a positive contribution to third quarter GDP and you know that's based on improved confidence and prospects of uh, stronger demand but ultimately you know we'll have to wait and see what those um, September numbers show